Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm gonna give my top recommendations for phones under thirty thousand. So the first one is going to be the Google Pixel 6a. Anyone who's going to anyone who's looking to buy a phone under thirty thousand, this is this this is a great option for them as well as it has a great battery and good performance and a great camera. The Pixel 6a has a plastic back and an aluminium frame uh, with uh, an IP67 water and dust resistant. Pixel 6a has an OLED display of a resolution of 1080p. The display is great with uh, good viewing angles and uh, good dynamic range as well with an HDR support. But there is a big downside to this which is the display the, which is the display is only 60 hertz. Yeah and the competition provides uh, over 120 hertz. Some of them even go to 144 hertz. The Pixel 6a is powered by the its own in-house processor, the Google Tensor chip. The performance is really good and uh, as the, this is the same chip which is provided in the Google 6 and 6 Pro. So this is comparable to a flagship easily. The Google Pixel 6 has a dual camera system. Uh, one of them is the main sensor 12MP and the other one is also a 12 megapixel ultra wide sensor. The camera takes great photos in every lighting conditions uh, as, it, as it is a Google phone so it has a Google camera so we all know it performs really good. Pixel 6a has a 4410 milliamp hour battery uh, which can give you a full day battery life as the display is also 60 hertz so you can expect a full day of usage with moderate to heavy usage depending how you use it. The Pixel 6a currently runs in Android 13 so which is the latest Android till now so it is the Google promised two years and two years of software update and three years of security updates so this, uh, I think this will last you another year as this phone was launched launched year before so that's something you should keep in mind before buying this overall Google Pixel 6a is a good great phone uh, under 30,000 and I, I believe you can even get these for a discount when you get the uh, Diwali sale or the great Indian sale you can get it cheaply as below as around 20 to 23 somewhere I'll, I'll list the price below, you can have a look at it. So, the current price of this phone as of recording is 28999 so which will definitely go down uh, when the sale comes. The next is going to be the Samsung S20 FE, which is a Samsung's uh, budget smartphone with flagship specs. This is a great option to buy for anyone who is looking to buy a cam uh, phone with uh, great performance and uh, good battery life and a versatile camera system. So let's start with the design. The S20 Hefe has a metal frame with a plastic back and uh, yeah and is available on variety of colors. Uh, the S20 Fe has a super AMOLED display of 6.5 inch uh, which is a resolution of 1080p. The display is bright, colorful, sharp. You will have no issues like using this phone on a bright sunlight or as well. As the, as the display gets plenty of bright in sunlight and uh, it also has a 120 hertz refresh rate so your animations will be pretty smoothly pretty smooth as well under the hood this phone comes with a snapdragon 865 which uh, which is like similar to the 870 that we got last year the performance is really amazing as this is a flagship chipset and uh, it comes with 8 gigs of RAM and 128 gigs of storage as a base, so there will be plenty of performance for you. The S20 FE has a triple triple camera setup. Uh, the main the main one is going to be a 12 MP camera, an ultra wide of 12 MP as well, and a telephoto lens, 3s telephoto lens with a 8 megapixel camera, and it has a 32 megapixel front uh, front facing shooter to capture your selfies. The 
The S20 FE Hybrid also comes with a 4500 mAh battery which is enough to take you throughout the day as the, the phone's processor is power efficient. We also get used to get the Exynos version which used to be power hungry but the Snapdragon version is quite efficient and it will last you a full day if you use the phone moderately. The S20 comes the S20 FE comes with the Android 12 as a stock and Samsung has promised over 5 years of uh security patch updates and 4 years of android updates so it should be quite future packed and as it still has a quite a bit of gears left so it should be a good purchase so overall i think the s20 fe is a great phone and with a great with a very good performance a uh, good camera and a uh, very good uh, display as well so if you are anyone who is looking to purchase this particular phone they should consider it i think this is a viable option in 2023 as well so the next phone is the nothing phone one this phone is getting a lot of buzz lately and i was really excited to make a video on this one the first thing you will notice about the nothing phone one is its unique design and that cliff and tech face that um, was shown in the original reviews that i never did the back of the phone is also totally transparent you can say the insides of the phone which makes it quite a different phone than the than the anyone else in the market uh, which makes it quite interesting for some people in terms of specs the nothing phone one is pretty mid range it has 6.5 inch oled display a uh, snapdragon 778g plus processor and comes with an 8 gigs of ram with 128 and 256 gb of storage each. The camera system of this phone is pretty standard as well. Comes with a 50 MP main sensor and a 50 MP ultra wide angle sensor. how does the nothing phone one performs in every day the overall performance of this phone is pretty good considering the chipset is a mid range chipset the performance is really good the phone is optimized very nicely uh, so and most of the things that you do with software as the software comes totally cloud free and due to which the performance of this phone is pretty good as well and the camera is also good for most people who is looking to buy in this range as this is one of the good cameras in this price range like we had pixel and then the samsung s20 fe and this one is also in these three phones have one of the most one of the good cameras in this price range and the downside of this phone is the battery life isn't that amazing uh, so you have to top up with that one so some of the pros of this phones are unique design great build quality smooth performance good camera and affordable price as it starts on 29999 and as for cons uh, the phone battery doesn't last a full day easily like sometimes it does depends on usage but it probably won't and the phone doesn't have an expandable storage and also it doesn't have a water resistance so that's something to keep in mind so if you're looking to buy a phone that is totally different from the usual phone that you get in the market so this is one of those if what considering if you are trying to set up if you are trying to buy something that is different from what you get in the market next up is motorola h40 this is the mid range offering from the motorola this is the latest phone that they released this year and uh, it has a quite a dramatic upgrade from it is a quite a dramatic update from the last year's moto h30 the things that i like about the motorola h40 is its design as it has a curved display with uh, metallic frames and uh, yeah it does have a plastic back if you buy the blue version it we will get a glass like acrylic plastic back 
and uh, if you buy the other versions the black one and the color one so they have a vegan leather like texture but it is it is also plastic but yeah it feels good in the hands so i think that's something different than usual the moto h40 is also quite slim and compared to the other phones that we get nowadays and uh, the battery life is also pumped like uh, since the previous version the h40 is powered by the dimensity 8020 processor which has a performance which is uh, equivalent to the snapdragon 888 a bit more than that like the, the mediatek performs a bit better than the snapdragon 888 when you come when you compare it in the n22 but uh, we still have to see how it performs on the gaming department i i believe it will be decent enough like uh, yeah it comes paired with 8 gigs of ram and 256 gb of internal storage the h40 has a dual camera system as it has eliminated the old <laughs> 2mp cameras that we used to get that's a good thing that's a that's a good thing by moto i think moto did a good job in removing those useless cameras that we used to get like 2mp macro or something so the main camera of this phone is 50 megapixel and the wide angle is a 13 megapixel shooter the the photos and videos that come out of this phone are not that good but uh, I think they are still pretty good for the 30000 range but yeah if you look at the other the listing we had like the Google Pixel the nothing phone one and the Samsung S20 FE those will definitely beat this phone in comes uh, in comes to photos and videos so I hope Moto can improve it in the future the H40 has a P-OLED display with a 144 hertz refresh rate which is first in class as uh, no other phone in this price range provides 144 hertz display all of them are capped at 60 or 120 hertz so this 144 hertz make the phone really smooth uh, something weird is that moto does ship with 144 hertz enabled you have to manually go into settings and enable that uh, i think they made they did this to improve the battery life maybe that's my guess the h40 has a good healthy upgrade since the last one did not like they, since the last one did not have a good battery life so they have upgraded that here as well so this one will last you full day easily with a moderate uh, with a moderate usage no problem it also has a 65 watt wireless fast charging and a 15 watt wireless charging so overall i'm pretty uh, pretty excited for this phone and impressed as well as this is a healthy upgrade from the last s30 we had so anyone looking to buy a phone with great specs so this is going to be one of them So this sums up with all of the like recommendations that I have for you guys. Anyone who is looking to buy a phone within this price range. So if you love this video, please leave a like and subscribe. That will really help me out. And also leave a comment. And yeah, see you guys in the next one. And if you want to see some like launcher customizations or something, then I'll leave a link around the screen in the end of the video. You can just check them out.